Hello, today I will going to show you how can we export plan from project from Microsoft Planner to Microsoft Project for the web. By the way, if you expect Microsoft Project Project for the web in the future, you can forget it. Microsoft Project for the web is going to be a part of new planner. But I'm not going to talk about it until it will be live. And then I will show you how to use it. For now, we a Microsoft Project for the Web exists, and let's focus on it. So here I'm in my planner, as you can see. So let me go, let me go and create a new plan. And I will create a new blank plan, and I will say that this plan is plan for Microsoft project, let me, project for the web. Okay, do I want existing group, which I uh, have, or uh, I want a new group? I will say I want a new group. Privacy and sensitivity, is it public or private? I will say it is private, it doesn't matter. Here, I will create a plan, and after a few moments, I will have my new plan. And if I go here, group by bucket, I will say, okay, group it by bucket. So I have to do. Let's say that I have to do, that I have doing, and I have a bucket done. Okay, now let's add some members here. Members for the group. Here I have Nenad, and I will say, okay, let's say John, sorry. John, which is part of my Office 365 tenant, and let's say Mary, okay, and let's say Ellen, okay. And now I will create some tasks, and I will create them task one, task two, and task three, and four, five, and so on, and so on. So I will say, this is task one, and I will say it is due date is today, and it's assigned to Ellen, okay. Now, I will add another task, task two, okay? Sorry, task two, and I will say set due date is on Monday, and it will be assigned to Ellen. And I will add task. And now, I will continue with that, and I will, uh, 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 when I uh, will finish with it, I will switch again to recording. Until now, Wait a minute. Okay, here I am. I have tasks which you can see here. Task three, task four, task two, task one. Task one <coughs> is assigned to John, task two to Ellen, task three to Mary, etc., etc. And you can see that task seven is slate task with some resources assigned. Task eight is late task with no assigned resources. And let's go to task three and say that we don't want to have a due date for task three. For example, let's say due date, I will erase it, okay, here. Okay, so task three doesn't have due date. Now it's time to put that plan in, in a Microsoft project. But before, but before that, let me say, for example, here, that task one is done, okay? And the task two is in doing, okay? Let me go here and let's say task one is in done and it's marked like done, okay? Task two is here. Task three is here and it's also done, okay? Task four is here and we can see that task one and task three are done. Task two and task four are in doing and task five, six, seven, and eight are in to-do list. And now it's time to uh, 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 export this Plan to Microsoft Project for the web. Let me show you. Best way to copy is 
go, going here, three dots, and you will see copy plan to project, okay? And I will click on it. And now you will see that I have to sign on my, on my account, with my, with my account, once again, okay, okay, okay. And after a while, I will have my project important. So you will see here <coughs> that I have here, to, I have to wait some time, and after a while, it will show my new plan, but I will explain what is with tasks which are late and what is with groups, etc. So my project is ready. Okay. And I should close it. And you can see that all my tasks are here. Okay. Let's go to uh, we are here in time now. Let's go first to grid. We have tasks which are all of them are one day duration. Okay. All of them have original uh, assignees like in planner. Okay. Here, task four has Ellen, Mary, John, and me. Let's go to task six here. Task six here has the same resources. And of course, you can see that tasks which are finished are finished. Okay, let's go to boards. To do, doing done. Everything is here. Okay, so boards are, are also transparent. Okay, let's see groups. Okay, group is also transferred. So in my planner, I have a group plan for Microsoft Project for the web, and group is copied. But you should see that here I have a planner which is called plan for Microsoft Project for the web. The project name and the group name is with same name with suffix or sorry prefix uh, suffix copy so i should go here and i will say okay i don't need that copy okay and you can see the percentage of complete is calculated the total completed hours are calculated according to tasks which are completed etc etc everything is calculated and now i have here what i should have but you you can see that all of those have one day duration let me try one thing let me go in planner and let me add a new task okay here and let me add a task which will be task nine and let me say that Ellen and John is going to work on it. And let me say that start day is today and due date is, let's say, next Wednesday. Okay. And I will say, okay, now let's go and export this copy pro uh, plan to the project. So remember, I added one task. What I will have after I will uh copy this plan to the project okay you will see that i will have this plan important or uh, this plan exported to the project but with another project so i can go here okay to project and you will see that i have the old project which was a minute ago here you can see tasks let's go to grid task one, task two, task three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And uh, when I edit in Microsoft Planner new task and I export it, the whole project, the whole plan for Microsoft Project is exported, okay, is exported to the new project. Here you will, you will see it. this is the 
new one. And you will see here in this one, I have task nine and duration is calculated according to start and end date. So this is great. What is, I will say, not so great is that once when you export your plan from planner to project here, copy plan to project, everything what you will the, uh, you, what will you uh, you will do afterwards in your plan will not be reflected to project uh, for the web. So basically, how does it work? It works in a way that when you have some plan, some tasks in your plan, in your planner, when you go here and cop, you are copying plan to the project, Microsoft creates a new project and pastes those tasks here into the new project. And if you afterwards delete some tasks, edit some tasks, or add some tasks, you change anything in your plan. And when you repeat this step to uh, exporting micro, uh, plan to a project, the new project will be created. Okay, so that is how can you copy plan for project, uh, planner to a project. And one more question, uh, which you can ask. Okay, Nenat, can we do in reverse way? Can we create a project and then create a plan in a planner? The answer is no. This is one-way street, so you can copy plan from planner to Microsoft Project but uh, for the web, but you cannot create a project in your Microsoft Project for the web and then create the plan. For now, for now, let's wait the new planner and you will see how it works when it will be live. Until, until day, then thank you very much. Have a nice day.